from tablet to tablet. One fine morning, a government accountant was hard at work. A farmer had to be paid. The accountant took up his curved reed stem and made wedge-shaped marks on a nine-centimeter piece of moist clay. He made a stick figure with a ration bowl for the man. Then he made crescents for days and a rising sun between hills to record the time of the day. Finally, as the men were paid in barley, he made upright jars for the payment. He then baked the piece in a kiln fire to save it as an office memo. Six thousand years later, his handiwork was found at an excavation site in Iraq. This fragment, the clay tablet, is one of the oldest means of written communication in the world. That little clay tablet was as necessary then as a tablet computer, iPad or laptop is now. Writing has come full circle. From tablet to tablet. Now we have databases in the computer and applications that organize and record the data. They have replaced the ancient accountant's system. It has been an exciting journey of human inquiry and invention. Without written communication, the human world could not have existed. Aptly, the word tablet comes from the ancient Hebrew word tebel or the world. Linguists also think it came from the Latin tabula, meaning board or flat table. It was in 1984 that we got the term tablet computers for the exciting new cool tool of human communication. Since then, the tablets have become man's best digital friend. Now, touch screens have transformed the way we put our thoughts down on devices. Kids born a few years ago probably have never seen a mobile phone with a keypad. Technology continues to evolve at an unimaginable pace. We now take it for granted that gadgets will become smaller and more powerful and screens will become lighter, thinner and even flexible. Most of the communication gadgets we know are usually carried just as we carry books. How exciting it will be to wear them. Think of smart watches, smart glasses and even smart jackets. Imagine reading and writing an email while looking straight ahead and talking to your glasses. We can go a little further. Scientists are busy exploring deep inside the brain. Through brain scans, they have already identified different patterns associated with different activities, emotions and objects. So, maybe not too much into the future, we will be able to communicate just by reading minds. Sounds a bit too far-fetched, like sci-fi fantasies. But a lot of it is already here. Futuristic gadgets like Google Glasses that allow you to send messages by speaking or handheld devices that can translate up to 40 languages are now available. So, you never know what the future will bring. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.